Hello, in this video I will show you that how to install LAMP. Uh, I will install Apache, MySQL and PHP on Linux. So I am using uh, Ubuntu 16.04 and uh, let's start. First of all you have to update through apt-get Okay, update is done. Next, we will install Apache 2. Type Y for yes. After this, if you want to uh, add a domain name to your hosting, then uh, you need to edit apache2.conf file. Uh, for example, you have a domain name and you want to link with uh, this Apache, then you would run this command sudo nano etc apache2 apache2 dot conf file here you should file you should add server name at the bottom so here we should add server name space the name of your domain name for example w dot your domain dot com uh, at the moment I don't have any domain yet I'm just installing it on local computer so that is why I, I am not using this option next you have to you have to allow web traffic you have to adjust your firewall to allow web traffic if uh, if you are running your server online if you are running it locally then you don't need to run this command but if you are running it online and you want to allow web traffic then uh, you should run this command sudo ufw app list here you would see that all available applications you have to make sure that it uh, your firewall is uh, ha has already enabled traffic to ports 80 and 443 
for that you can check using sudo ufw app info apache full so it is showing 80 and 443 tcp that's mean it's now you have to allow traffic for this profile for that run ufw allow in apache full okay rules are updated now you can access your domain name or IP address from, uh, from your browser anyone can uh, on internet can access your website using your domain name or IP address but as I did not edit any domain so I don't need to test that yet but as Apache is installed we can confirm if that is working or not I am running it on local server so I have to run this sorry local host so if this page is shown up then that's mean your Apache server is successfully installed next thing is we have to install MySQL for that let me clear the screen first now sudo apt get install mysql server press yes it's taking some time I'm going to pause the video and I would continue it again when it's done okay MySQL server is almost installed after downloading files it is showing me this screen where it is asking me for password for MySQL root user I you can write any password if you are running it online then you should I recommend you to use a strong password for root user but uh, as uh, I'm running it offline so I don't need that much security so I would, would just write a simple password but you should use a strong password for it repeat password okay okay mysql server has been installed next if you are running it online then uh, uh, you should run uh, this command mysql secure installation this command would would make some changes and uh, would uh, apply some security patches on your mysql server so to make it very secure uh, but I don't need that much security because I'm running off running it offline so I would not run that but I would recommend you to use it if you're running it online <coughs> uh, next I am going to install PHP for that write sudo apt get install PHP lib lib apache 2 mode dash php we have to install php and some php modules and php mcrypt and php 
MySQL. So all these extensions we need. Sorry, I I wrote wrong spelling for mcrypt. Now it should work. Okay, press yes. Alright, PHP has been installed. Next, we have to restart Apache server to apply new settings. For that, run sudo systemctl restart apache2. We can also check on the status of Apache service using sudo system ctl status apache 2 so here you can see that apache is active and running so everything is working fine so in uh, let's check if uh, our php is installed and everything is working fine or not for that open this my computer var www directory html and here <coughs> let's create a file this directory does not has right access for normal user so we cannot create file directly from here so i will use sudo command to create a file there cd vr www html here i want to create a an index dot php file for that write nano so nano index dot php and uh, write anything here php sorry php info we have to use sudo before editing this file to get sufficient permission check it we have to remove index.html so that it can work it can load index.php instead all right you can see that our index.php file is running successfully and it is showing all details about php so it is installed successfully After this, we would install PHP My Admin so that we can manage our database. I will record a separate video to install PHP My Admin. So that's it for now for our LAMP installation.